Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you all the scooter parts I used to ride before I got my new custom built. We'll start off with the bars first. So, the original Lucky Complete came with these like knockoff like bull bars kind of. And they, like, they're really heavy. Like really, really heavy. And so, and I didn't really like them. But now, I kind of do like them because they're shorter, and I, and I like short bars now. But they don't fit on that build, so I can't use them. And then, like a week before I got my other one, I got these Root T-Bars. And they also, I like these more than those, but they're just, these are shorter. And they're like the same width. But they also still don't fit on that scooter. So... Stuck with these bars that I really like. It really sucks. But I might get my bars that I have over there, which are NVT bars. The thermal ones. Cut down to this height. Because I hate running tall bars. Like, my bars are, like, up to, like, literally, like, my belly button on the scooter. And my other ones were, like, like my waist height. Next, we're going to do... The clamp. This clamp, um, it came with the build. I don't think you can get it separately, but I like scratched it up. You can't really see it, but I scratched it up pretty bad. And there's actually a little crack in here. I doubt you can see it though. And I mean, it's um, glossy black two bolt clamp. It's lucky, and it, it's pretty good. I mean. I still like my other one better, but this one, I like all these parts except for those root T-bars because I got them a week before my custom build, they lasted me three years. So, I mean, they held up, but I like it. It's just, it's kind of boring. It's just all black, like, not even like the Lucky logo on it, so it's kind of boring. And... Next, we're going to do my fork, which I cannot get the wheels off, so I guess we'll just do the um, wheels first, actually. They are the, um, I forget what it's called, it's like vocal or something, I don't know, 110 millimeter. Um, these wheels I got like for a week, flat spotted the hell out of them, like especially the back wheel, like oh my gosh. And, but they they work pretty nice. But all right, so my fork, it came with the Lucky Complete, obviously. And um, this shim is literally so annoying. It's literally like a screw thing, not like a bolt. So it does a screw and shim. Like you can see the bolt in there. It goes into there. Like not even just like a bolt that's in there. Like this is the weirdest like HIC or IHC compression system I've ever seen. Like, this for me ruined most of the complete build because I just hated this. Just to get the shim off, like, you see it, like, I don't know if you can really see it that well, but like, yeah, like right here, this is how far it goes. And it, and it goes, like, very slow to turn, but it gets really tight. So it goes, like, up, like, half a centimeter, like, every turn, or, like, probably, like, a quarter of a centimeter. And it just takes forever. And it's so annoying. And, like, what's the point of these two knobs? Like, but the fork, I do not like this fork at all. It bent on me, like, first week I got it, and it's still bent. Because you can see, this side is closer to the wheel, and this side is way sticking out more. And it actually has a bend, like, pressure mark right here. I doubt you can see that either. Basically, all the scooter's pretty much just glossy black, but I don't really like this fork. And the axles aren't pretty good either. And then again, I don't think they make this custom build anymore, or like, yeah, not this custom, this complete anymore. The wheels that came with it, um, they were, um, just like standard black, like, proto looking wheels. But, I got these ones on because the root bars that I got, I put red bar ends on, and it matched my wheels and I liked it. So, next we're going to do the deck headset and, well, 
the back wheels on, but they can't get these wheels on. But so the headset, it's just a lucky headset. So that's the headset cap. Bearings, nothing special, just the headset. It spins pretty well, so I'm actually gonna have to take this off because it constantly falls out and I'm gonna take this off. But so the deck, I don't know what it's called, but oh and the brakes metal. The park looking deck. Um, it's not a complete flat bottom. It's got grind rails on those sides. Um, I think it's an 83 degree head, head tube angle. And the dimensions are 4.4 um, wide by. It's either 4.4 or 4.5. I can't remember by 19 wide. I mean, 19 long. Um, these things at the top to the end knobs right here so it's a two bolt brake too and um it can only fit up to one to 24s i think the fork can f they can fit up to 120 millimeters but like 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 height but in width they can only fit up to 24s so i mean I kind of, my wheels that I have now are the John Ray's, they're 26, and I kind of want to get 24s again, but, mm. but this deck, I like it, it's just, it's too thin, you know, like, 4.5 is not that wide, and like, my foot, I have like a shoe size of like 8.5, and literally my whole heel and all my toes are sticking off of my deck and I hate that. And I don't like grinding with it either. And the grip tape, this grip tape sucks. Uh, you can see it's kind of dirty. You can't really see it, but it is covered in mud and dirt. There's a little lucky logo on it right here. It's just kind of faded. And then again, I've had it for three years, but like it does not grip at all. Literally, I can just slide my hand across it, like, scrape my knuckles, does nothing. But, like, oh my gosh. This little grip tape is horrible. Like, I do not like it. It is, and, and the brake, it's not even, like, it's just like a sheet of metal that's curved up. And of course, the, where the grind bars are, you can see they're on this foot hollow. Otherwise, the deck would be heavy. It's not that heavy. It's kind of heavy. It's like probably like like three pounds or like five, four pounds, but or maybe heavier. I don't even know. But it is. I do like it. It's just I wish it was wider and it had good grip tape. Otherwise, it's pretty good, but mm, I like, I still like mine better. But I now I think mine's too wide, so I kind of I want a a o deck for my birthday. But we'll see if I can get it or not. This is what the scooter looks like when it's completely built back up with the root bars on. I put the other bars back up there, but I mean. It does look nice. You see, look, seeing about the red bars and the wheels, they look nice together. And if you've seen like all the clips, like the tail up I got out of the bowl, the feeble and hurricane clips, that was with the scooter. And I haven't actually posted any clips with this scooter, and I've had it for like two weeks. And the first tail up I got flat thing, I was using Dominic's. Root complete <laughs> just because his scooter is light and his scooter is so heavy. Except, I did get one clip today at Westy. I just did like a backflip stall on the bowl, which I'll put in now. Jake, what's the D? <laughs> so, that's the only clip I have so far. I was gonna 
put more up, but I didn't do it because <laughs> I didn't feel like it, and I was just riding with Shane and Jake the whole time. So, so this was the scooter I used to ride and the parts I had. And um, by the way, the grips were um, R2 grips with ODI bottoms. So, thanks for watching. See you whenever I post next.